For me, the, the idea of Wikipedia as a truly global project is really fundamental. And so I think it's really important that as more and more people come online, that we are a welcoming place, not just for them to read the content that's been written, but for them to write and to participate in their own language, about their own localities, their own history. It's about how can we make Wikipedia better and how can we make Wikipedia better for everyone. العراق هو بلدنا احنا لازم نبرز أهمية ودور ما منشور ما ننشره في الويكيبيديا العراقية من معلومات سواء كانت تاريخية ثقافية اجتماعية علمية اللي نبرز العالم بأن العراق هو ما زال بخير وما زلنا احنا نبحث ونطور نفسنا People have to travel miles and miles to come to Africa just to learn about our culture. Why can't we just put this online so people can just sit in their homes and learn? We're here for a Wikipedia editathon uh, entitled Plants and People. I'm studying the history of botany in the Russian Empire in the 18th century. I've never edited a Wikipedia page before, so I thought I might come and learn how to do that. Hearing like, no, you have access to the internet, you know what a good source is, you have a voice to contribute, and this is how to do it, is really empowering. Wikipedia doesn't collect data from its users. So whatever pages you see, they don't try to collect as much information about you as possible. And yet, uh, Wikipedia doesn't run ads. So the price of Wikipedia's freedom and independence is donations. Information in itself is useless until it's being shared with the whole world. And the only way you can do that is through a medium like Wikipedia.